Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here, and in this video I'm going to be upgrading the RAM in my 2011 21.5 inch iMac. I'm going to be going from 8GB of RAM all the way to 16GB of RAM. So I've purchased two uh, 8GB kits, each consisting of two 4GB modules. Uh, so I got this for about $64 on Amazon, it was quite a good deal. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install this RAM, as well as the benefits of adding additional RAM to your Mac. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and shut your iMac down. Next you're going to want to remove the power cord from your Mac. And then you're going to want to set your Mac down on a soft surface such as a bed so you can move the stand up to the highest position. At the bottom then you'll notice three screws. You'll just simply unscrew these with a Phillips screwdriver so we can access the RAM modules. Once you're inside you're going to want to pull out the two plastic tabs. And then simply pull on each of them to remove the existing RAM. Next we'll have the new RAM modules. Make sure when you're placing it in the iMac the notch is facing the right hand side. Then once again pull out the plastic tabs and add the new RAM modules pushing them in until you hear a click. Then just do it for the remaining three. Then you're going to want to place the plastic tabs back in between the two modules on each side. Finally then replace the cover plate by screwing back in the three screws. So once you've booted your Mac back up, you're going to want to head into About This Mac and check out the memory section to make sure it matches the amount of RAM that you've installed. So I've got 16 gigabytes of memory now installed on my sh machine, and uh, in each of the four slots here, I've got a four gigabyte module. So my recommendation to you guys is if you're looking to get an Apple computer, do not get the RAM installed from Apple. They're going to charge you a ridiculous amount for it, and it's not worth it whatsoever. Also, if you're looking to buy some new RAM, I would recommend checking out Amazon.com. They've usually got the best deals from what I I've seen. I will provide a link in the description to the product that I purchased uh, for my iMac. Now, uh, RAM is user accessible, so it's not going to void your warranty if you decide to upgrade it yourself. Um, this is, uh, the only exception to that is with the MacBook Air. With the MacBook Air, the RAM is soldered down to the logic board, so it's pretty much impossible to replace anyway. So my recommend, uh, my other recommendation to you guys then is if you if you're going to be doing some basic web browsing, uh, using email and some other basic applications like that, you should be fine with the four gigabytes installed in the baseline 2011 iMac. If you're going to be using some more intensive applications from Adobe or let's say Logic Pro or uh, Final Cut Pro 10, the more RAM you have, the better. So I would say maybe go with eight gigabytes. If you're going to be using a lot of those applications that are using uh, a lot of memory at the same time, you're probably going to want to go with 16 or 32 gigabytes to get the best performance. So I hope this got this video helped you guys out. Please leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.